Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the game. Uh, it's still winter, and we have some new tasks ahead of us. I was thinking today might be a good day to build. Since we did some running around in the last episode, I thought this might be a good episode to build our little workshop. And I was thinking that could be a good building to put up here by the resource storage. Uh, maybe immediately behind the resource storage. Uh, like literally on the ground here below it, facing this way. I might come to regret that later, but for right now, it feels like the right thing to do. I don't know how we're doing on hammers, but the nice thing is, because we advanced our save, and we have workers now, I kind of like that right there. like twin behind that other building. Oh, logs. It's not a stone base. See, shows what I know. Anyways, <clears throat> what I was getting at is if because we have somebody chopping wood for us. We're getting these logs in, which is super helpful. So I'm actually going to take them all, even though that's nope, just kidding. That's even more than I thought. Later in the game, you can handle that much, but we can't yet. Anyways, welcome back to the save. Sorry, I know I just sort of kind of hopped right in here. and didn't give much of an introduction, but we've been at this for a while, and uh, I'm really enjoying playing the game again. Uh, every playthrough has its own unique characteristics, which I've I really enjoy four, five. So we're gonna need probably three or four trees worth, I would imagine. So let's head out a ways. And I think I'm gonna do what I did before, which is to chop the tree but leave the stump on a couple of these. Oh, that's right, I forgot they added that you can die if the, if the tree falls on you. Uh, that would definitely ruin the playthrough, so be careful not to do that. Try really hard not to die. Okay. Alright, can I get back to where we need to go? Sheesh, that stump scared me. I heard my own footsteps, and when I turned, I thought it was like a wolf or something. Which is silly, because the wolves in this game are loud. You know you're getting attacked. They howl at you when you get close. I'm actually surprised we haven't run into any yet. I don't want to jinx myself, because my health is always low in the wintertime. Alright, so I don't know if I'm going to love having to walk up this way, but we might be able to sneak in through the side there. So we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need these four logs, and then... We need a bunch of straw. What's that? 8 times 4 is 32 straw? We might have to go get some reeds, actually, if we don't have enough straw. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this, and then we'll run down and see if we can get reeds. If you can't get reeds in the wintertime, which I think you can, but if you can't, we're going to be in trouble. But this building will allow us to make things like water buckets, and we 
can unlock some other recipes. You can make like spoons and basic, basic wooden tools. Not tools. What's the word? That I, utensils, things like that. Oh yeah, I see the reeds from here. We'll be good. Oh, with the huffing and puffing. Man, I wish... I wish that we could advance our stamina faster. It's just one of those things that ends up being the end of the... You're pretty late in the game by the time you can advance that. Okay, what did we, what did we need? Like, maybe we'll just go for like 50. One thing you can have, there's a building, a, what is it called? It's not called an extraction, it's not the extraction building, but it's a very general building that allows you to put somebody in gathering reeds for straw, which if your farm is up and running, you usually get enough straw in the fall. Well, actually, all seasons you get enough that you're usually good to go, but we're not at that point, of course, so we have to be patient. But this is gonna be an interesting two buildings here. Can I reach that? Or I should probably just go up the steps. Okay, here we go. One, two. We should get a building upgrade soon, I would think. So the, the workshop is built. So here, let me show you what you can do. So you come over here. We've got wicker. So we can make simple torches, which we could already do. But we could unlock the regular torch later. And then there's these wicker products, this wooden bucket, which you make with planks. And then like one thing that, that people do to kind of cheese the game is they'll buy this wooden vial scheme for 50. They'll take a handful of logs over, turn them into planks. You know, you can do like 15 logs turns into 30 planks. 30 planks you bring over here turns into 300 vials. And then you take that to town and sell for like 450 gold. Or coins, whatever. Uh, whether or not you think that's cheesing the game is, is kind of your call. And then we also have these vases with flowers. People use this to decorate with, but we're obviously way far away from that. But right here, these wooden bowls are going to be very important for us because we can make pottage and make it with our cabbage and the meat that we have. I roasted all that meat, which was foolish because if I had kept some raw, we could make pottage with it. So I actually think I'm going to go ahead and buy this and then I'm going to go ahead and make five bowls with one of our logs. And I'm going to go uh, Can I remember where the pig was that we, the, the boars that we fought last episode? They were, was it really that far? Okay. Maybe, maybe we try to kill a wizen. Okay, so if you don't know this, this is a good teachable moment. We're about to do something we know is foolish. Press F5. Watch. Oh, wait. Before I do that, somebody needs a tool. Who needs a tool to work? The hunting lodge is fine, so it must be... Must be... Yeah, they need a, a stone axe. We need literally two stones, okay? Can I make this? 
Okay, I can't. That's good to know. All right, so we give them the stone axe, and that thing should go way up in the top corner. There it goes. All right, so back to my teachable moment. So we get out here. We are determined. Let's go kill a wizen. Okay, very bad idea. They can charge. I see one up there, actually. They can charge. So where we're going to hit is F5. Let me put my torch away for a second. Watch. Watch in the top left corner. Quick save. That is very important. <laughs> because now if I have to come back to this because, you know, we shoot a wizen in the head and it's going to turn and charge me, we'll have that. So I think this range right here How did that miss? Okay. I lived. He hit me once, but I lived. <clears throat> so we know that we have these close to us. Let's see what we get from it when we skin this one. See if it's worth it. I think we get fur and a bunch of meat. So we got a wizened skull. Ah, it went too fast. We got a wizened skull. How much meat did we get? Because we don't have any in our inventory. We got seven leather out of that. No fur. Seven leather, 25 meat. Okay. So let me take this down to the neighbor's house. Uh, I don't remember if we have the recipe for pottage yet or not. But I know they have some cabbage in there because I gave them cabbage. We have cabbage in our farm building in the barn. So we can take this 11 cabbage and you go to the cauldron. Yeah, see... The scheme is a hundred, but we'll be able to make this. Give them their raw cabbage back. Um, I'm going to take this stuff down here. See what I mean? Again, we would have to go to town uh, to be able to make the pottage. We, we, we did everything else we need to do, but we don't have the money. And you can't just get coins when you're out here. You just... You have to go into town. Okay, the leather we can take up there. The raw meat, I guess, we'll put in here. Yeah, our storage is okay. And these five wooden bowls we'll put here. The wise and skull we'll put in here. <clears throat> so, another round of everybody's favorite game. You guys remember the favorite game? Stone Knife Simulator. Oh, they need um, they need water. So I should be able to get their water skin. Let's make four knives. Let's go. We're going to need to make another torch soon. See how fast we're going through these torches? And look at our health. because All because we fought that. You know, we killed that one wise and our health is jacked. So, and our knife is getting low, which is not great. What did I come up here for? I was going to show you guys something. I literally just said, we'll go to their house. Oh, the water skin. Yeah, see, it's gone. But I'm glad that we found that when we did because it gave us time to build this. So we'll get our two planks. Oh, do we have... Ooh, we might not have the scheme to make them a bucket. Water skin. Yeah, let's just use that. I wanted to put the leather up here. Gosh, I have the memory of an elephant today. So we're going to put, we could put our extra bronze axe in there, but I kind of want it for when mine runs out. 
put the leather in here. We can keep the simple bag, the stick, the stones, that's fine. All these, this extra straw is fine. So what was it, a stick? And I, so I just, I literally just put this in here. Let's make another simple torch for when that one goes out. Drawback. So now we want to go down and fill up their water skin for them. That should buy us another day or two, and hopefully we'll be able to get the money to learn how to make buckets. Once we fill up a bucket with 10, 10 water, that will make it not so bad. Okay, so here we'll go to our inventory. We'll put their water skin under four. We'll come down here, fill the water skin. I think we can make those, but I think we need to make them. Can we make them straight out? No. So I was in a conversation on Reddit not that long ago talking with somebody about how viable the rabbit traps are. And somebody basically said they're just not viable after early game. Very early game, in fact. And I and I think I agree with that ultimately. As sad as it is to admit. All right, so we could do we could get some logs. We could do a little more hunting. We could gather up a bit more in terms of sticks and stones, so we can make more knives. This some people refer to this game as being a little bit grindy, and I think this point of the game is probably the grindiest point because we are advancing you know we built a new building after all and we were able to go hunting which is a lot of fun but in terms of being able to have like what feels like significant progress I can't advance today I just I'm just stuck in this freezing cold weather I've got the torch going constantly because I can't afford the fancier clothes. So how do I get money to unlock the things that I need to function? Making knives. <laughs> so that's what we end up doing for better and for worse. We wander around doing this. I find it kind of peaceful myself if I wasn't making content I might respond to it differently. That's a lynx over there kind of making noises at me. All right, let's make a few more. Oh, we're, we need more stones. Fair. I'm so glad that, that they don't aggro. My favorite season in the game is spring. I love that you can you can plant if you have seeds. You can do a bunch of planting. I like that a lot. Do I put the extra stone knives in storage or carry them? I feel like I should put them in storage since at very at the very soonest we'll go into town the next in-game day. So let's put. 12 stone knives in here. Now let's do a little bit of strategizing down here at the farm while we have a few minutes. So we have beetroots are spring, but we only have four seeds, so that's going to take a little while. We have 43 cabbage that are on 50%, so what I might do is 
make some of that pottage to sell. I know we don't have a ton of food, but meat is almost unlimited, right? Because the animals respawn, so I can just go out into the woods and get more meat. And our hunters should be bringing us meat. I don't know where it's going, but they should be bringing us meat. And maybe that's what I should build next is food storage. How are we looking on? Okay, woodshed we built, herbalist hut, pigsty. Did we, oh, we're so close to the smithy. Yeah, we need to keep producing things so we can get the smithy. Once we get the smithy, we can make a bunch of these tools on our own, which will help us with our independence. Anyways, back to the task at hand here. Springtime, we have 42 cabbage seed. I want to plant all of those. We have 12 carrot seeds. I want to plant all of that. Uh, we have 95 flax seed. We won't plant 95, but I would like to plant one full big field with flax. Oats are also spring, so maybe a full field of oats as well. So maybe we do a vegetable patch with the beetroots and the onions. Onions are also spring. Hmm. Wheat is spring and autumn, so we're going to have a few full fields. It looks like, so a full wheat field, that's one a full oat field, two, a full flax field, three, and a full cabbage patch, four, then one smaller vegetable patch off to the side. So we're gonna need a ton of fertilizer. I don't know how we're gonna afford that, but right now we basically have one, two big fields with room for, maybe we put the vegetable patch up here in this smaller area and we'll do field three and four here and potentially number five here and we can start bringing pr buildings that we need kind of around this area if necessary like how about food storage food storage right here let's look at that that building food no not production we want we want storage building food storage one right here what's our what's our building limit looking like building we're at seven of ten if we put food storage here well or Maybe we do food storage and then kitchen, food storage, kitchen, like in a row here. So we'll have crops to the barn, food storage to the kitchen. And then with the housing along this hillside, or, hmm, yeah. <clears throat> I also want to have some housing down here along the water side. I'm thinking I'm thinking a nice little row of houses down along here. Although we want to think about where to put orchards as well. That's something that becomes uh, I feel conflicted about orchards personally because they level gated um the juices you can't build a tavern until like hundreds of hours into the game so I'm a little bit cranky about that but maybe that's something that we could think about like these farms are up here what I'm not sure about ultimately with this save is what I want to do, like how far this way we want to go. I'm not yet to the point of thinking about things like our outer wall or whatever. Um, but maybe some of this lowland 
rather than putting houses down here. Maybe some of this becomes like orchards. They're pretty far from the barn though. Or maybe we put, oh I have an idea. Maybe we put orchards along here. Like this, the, close enough to the barn. So it'll be like a row of orchards, a row of food production buildings, then our fields are like industrial buildings and then housing along there and then later we can put housing down along on this side a whole other batch of housing down here tentative tentative all right sounds good sounds good i'm gonna put these stone knives that i just made up here so we're not hauling them around and we should be close to calling it a night. I don't know. Winter's really hard for me to tell the amount of time. Stone knives. Do we need a, a new torch yet? We'll take a stick and we'll take some straw. We'll make another torch just to have it. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. It is a very slow game. I don't I don't know what episode we're on, like 9, 10, something like that. And it's kind of starting to feel a little bit like a village, right? It's starting to feel like we're we're making progress. Let's see. I want to, so that's a hundred, yeah. I have an hour and nine minutes before my day is over. Um, let's take a look at the management stats here. Oh, their mood has improved all the way up to 6% from 3 at the beginning of the last episode. So if we do food storage, our building limit will go up to 8 out of 10. That'll also help because then once we get buckets full of water in storage, this will be met. And instead of putting food straight in their house, we'll put it in food storage. So this will give us like an indication of how much food we have on hand. Just like the wood tells us this is the daily need and this is how much we have. So I think that'll be good. And we also need to remember we have to pay taxes in the spring. Right now our tax debt, our tax amount is looking like 83 gold. So, you know, some of the gold that we make are coins. I keep saying gold. They're coins, silver coins. Uh, but that will be that will be due in the spring. And so we'll sell knives to pay for that, most likely. I may sell some of our flaxseed because once we plant this flaxseed, we will get more flaxseed so I think I might take some of that it's pretty valuable so that'll give us a little bit of a buffer to buy things like the manure to turn it into the fertilizer that we need for the spring um, so assuming we don't get more dynasty reputation and we don't get more buildings if we do, we don't need a kitchen. We can survive on the campfire in my house and the in the existing house. So it might make sense to do with the three buildings that remain. We could do food storage for one. Then we want to save one for the smithy, and then maybe a third, a, a second, like worker house. Because I don't think we unlocked Smithy yet. A pigsty would also be helpful. Oh, look how close we are. 4693. Okay, let's see how much. So remember that in your head. 4693. Let's see how much it changes when we make just one. 4693. 4693. Ready, one stone knife, 4693, 4693. Now it is 
So how many of those do we need to make to get to get that done? Not too many more. Not too many more. Um, and you get that for all sorts of production, not just making knives. That's just the thing we're making lots of right now. Both for money and experience, so on and so forth. We want about 20 of these. So we can make two more knives. Forty-eight seventy-three. So about that much more, I would guess. We're gonna need to go eat, or we could just eat the next morning. We have one more day of winter, and I should say for people who are thinking about playing this game or buying it or whatever, you don't have to do your seasons three days. You can shorten them to one day, but. Once you get to where you have like 20 people in your settlement and lots of things going on, it's a little bit overwhelming. Okay, we unlocked the smithy. That is very good news. Let's see if it'll let us go to bed. 14 minutes. All right, well, I think... Uh, shoot, I should have taken a picture of this while it was still bright out, but I think I'm going to take a picture of this for the thumbnail, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bluebelly. I play simulation games, including Medieval Dynasty. Bye for now.